moon too has a great influence on life in the oceans. Its gravitational pull creates the daily advances and retreats of the tide. But the moon has more than a daily cycle. Each month it waxes and wanes as it travels round the Earth. And this monthly cycle also triggers events in the ocean. The Pacific coast of Costa Rica on a very special night. It's just after midnight and the tide is coming in. The moon is in its last quarter, exactly halfway between full and new. For weeks, the beach has been empty, but that is about to change. At high tide, turtles start to emerge from the surf. At first, they come in ones and twos, but within an hour, they are appearing all along the beach. They are all female Ridley's turtles, and over the next six days or so, 400,000 will visit this one beach to lay their eggs in the sand. At the peak time, 5,000 are coming and going every hour. The top of the beach gets so crowded that they have to clamber over one another to find a bare patch where they can dig a nest hole. A quarter of the world's population of Ridley's turtles come to this one beach on a few key nights each year. The rest of the time, they're widely distributed through the ocean searching for food, most hundreds of miles away from here. This mass nesting is called an arabada, how it's coordinated is a mystery, but we do know that arabadas start when the moon is either in its first or its last quarter. Forty million eggs are laid in just a few days. By synchronizing their nesting in this way, the females ensure that six weeks later, their hatchlings will emerge in such enormous numbers that predators on the beach are overwhelmed, and a significant proportion of the baby turtles will get past them and make it to the water. But why do the females use a cue from the moon to help in synchronizing their nesting? Part of the answer to that becomes clear at dawn on the following morning. The day shift of predators are arriving for their first meals. Vultures have learnt that the returning tide can wash freshly laid eggs out of the sand. The risk of eggs being exposed by the surf may be part of the reason why turtle arabadas tend to occur around the last or first quarter of the moon. It's on such days as this, when the moon is neither full nor new, that the tides are weakest and the sea is likely to be calmer. So, at these times, it's easier for the female turtles to make their way through the surf, and there's less chance of their eggs being washed out of the sand and being taken by the vultures. The moon's monthly cycle and its influence on the tides 
triggers many events in the ocean, from the spawning of the corals on the Great Barrier Reef to the breeding cycles of fish. But there's an even longer rhythm that has the most profound effect of all, the annual cycle of the sun. The sun's position relative to the Earth changes through the year, and it's this that produces the seasons. In the north, spring comes as the sun begins to rise higher in the sky. 